Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So I thought that I would just sit down with you guys today and just talk all about handbags. Let's discuss our favorite topic, which is handbags, okay? If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Um, why don't you subscribe to become a part of my small little family? I discuss everything luxury related basically i feel there are certain bags from certain brands that i will not buy anymore because those bags have literally been shoved in my face for the past few years like i'm not talking about girls who unbox bags you know on youtube i'm talking about big fashion bloggers and instagrammers who have rinsed out all of these bags to the point where I don't even want them anymore because you've just ruined it for me like you've ruined the fun and this isn't by any means like shading the fashion blogging community because obviously I'm a fashion blogger myself so I'm not trying to shade my own community but I just wanted to sit down and discuss my top 10 bags that I believe have been ruined for all of us because of the blogging community. Okay, so let's start with bag number one. I'm gonna start off with an oldie but a goodie. Maybe you'll guess what I'm about to say. It's, yeah, I mean, you could call it a classic now, but I don't care whether you call it a classic or not. It's definitely been ruined by the blogging community. And that is the Chloe Drew. Yes, you guys know that I own the Chloe Drew and I was sucked into it. I was sucked into the hype. And I don't get me wrong, I still love my bag. Like I still wear it on a regular basis, especially in the winter because of the the colours. So the Chloe Drew was debuted in the Autumn Winter 2014 collection and I actually bought mine in 2015. Oh my god, when did I buy this bag? Oh, well, I was definitely at Far Fetch at the time. It must have been 2015, yeah. Okay, so I bought it quite early on in the release. I bought it in 2015 from Far Fetch, and I was, you know, I was sucked into the hype like we all are at times. I won't buy any more Chloe bags now because. They're too risky. Chloe is a risky brand to invest your money in. They come hard and then they fall hard. So, yes, I like my bag. Would I do it again? No, I, I actually wouldn't. So the second brand on the list is, surprise, surprise, another Chloe bag. This time the Chloe Faye. Um, this was released in like the spring 2015 collection, I think. And one thing I've noticed with Chloe is... They have a very good PR strategy. So as soon as a new Chloe bag hits, you will see this bag on every single fashion influencer in the world. Across the globe, literally. So, you know, as soon as the Faye was dropped, every single person was handed out the bag, sent the bag. Like, obviously that marketing strategy works and it's good, but I think it works so much that you know, as, as fast as you grow, it's the same rate that you will fall. So for me, Chloe Faye has definitely been ruined. Like that's not a bag that I would ever consider buying. Like, no way, you're not, not getting my money. And to be honest, the, the style of the bag already looks dated. It's been released for what, three years? It already looks dated. So bag number three is actually a bag from Karl Lagerfeld and I feel like a lot of you guys might not even know this bag. You may have never seen this bag, but it's actually the Karl Lagerfeld signature bag. So this isn't a bag I was familiar with. However, I saw a lot of my blogging friends, my personal friends, they have been sent this bag from PR companies in the UK and when I saw one person get it, then I saw another person get it, and then another person, and it just, like, spiralled. And, yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's a lovely looking bag. It has the Karl Lagerfeld signature at the front. It's just a simple um, flap style bag. 
but and, and it has a very good price point as well you can pick up this bag for around 200 pound so it's definitely affordable just the fact that i've seen so many fashion bloggers with it not necessarily the big ones even the small ones yeah and a lot of them are my friends like my personal friends now when i see this bag in the stores i it just puts me off it's just like no i actually don't want that bag anymore okay so bag number four brings me onto louis vuitton and i'm so sad to include my favorite brand in this video because one thing i really respect about louis vuitton is they don't overexpose their products like other brands, i.e. Chloe. And the bag in question is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack. And this became such a huge popular trend. Um, literally every single blogger you see on Instagram, like they have, you know, the Palm Springs, the Palm Springs, look at me. Um, and it's, it's quite overwhelming don't get me wrong i actually still have the palm springs mini on my wish list it's just every day i call louis vuitton and it's sold out worldwide it's crazy even though it's a very trend-led bag and literally every single blogger has this bag i just respect the fact that they would have had to go out there and purchase the bag with their own money so therefore the bag actually grew its popularity organically which i like and i respect that for example when i attend blogging events 50 percent of the people at these blogging events will be carrying a palm springs mini so it's it's a little bit off-putting because it, they're literally everywhere now but anyway it's still on my wish list and i still want it so bag number five is the jw anderson pierce bag and you may be familiar with the Pierce bag, you may not be familiar with it. It's basically a similar design to the Chloe Faye because it has the iconic um, like round circle in the middle. I would say this bag is more coveted by the British fashion bloggers. Every single British fashion blogger who I follow owns a JW Anderson Pierce bag. Um, and I don't necessarily think it's because it's a british designer and they're supporting british designers i think it's because if i'm honest i think it's because it's a mid-range price point so i think they retail for roughly a grand and i and i know for a fact that jw anderson gets sold on most well probably all of the luxury retailers and what you guys probably don't know is a lot of fashion bloggers get sent vouchers and i mean a lot of vouchers to spend on websites like farfetch um louisa via roma my Teresa. so when they're getting all these vouchers they end up spending it on bags that are like mid range price points and this usually means jw anderson because every blogger i know owns a jw anderson bag and i know for a fact that you bought that bag with the far-fetched money that i gave you so <laughs> um yeah for me the bag is a bit of a turn off now like it's not a bag that i would buy it's not a bag that i want in my collection also one of my blogging friends on instagram said she was quite disappointed with the quality of the bag she said like some of the lining on the straps had um, started peeling away after a few months which is absurd and this leads me on to bag number six which is another jw anderson bag but this time it's the logo bag so the logo bag is really chic i actually really like this bag i love the design of this bag so it has the JW Anderson logo right at the front and it's just a simple classic flap style bag. Um, I, I really like the design of this bag and the price point is very good. You can get this bag for roughly £500. Um, but again, every time I turn on Instagram and I scroll through my feed, I see the JW Anderson bag everywhere and it's just a bit off-putting but i will say this bag looks great in pictures if you want to elevate your instagram this is the bag you need because it really does pop in instagram pictures so the next bag on my list is 
unfortunately the Gucci Marmon and I'm very sad to say this because I love Gucci I love love Gucci as a brand but the Marmont has been rinsed. So I believe it was released in 2016 and it was, it's just, it instantly became the it bag. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the Marmont is a beautiful handbag and I would still love it in my handbag collection, but it's just, it really is everywhere. I see, I go to events and I see bloggers that aren't even fashion led wearing the Gucci Marmont bags and I think it makes me think twice because I look at them and I'm thinking what do you know about Gucci and I feel like it's definitely the modern day Chanel flap um yeah it's just it's just a pity that literally every blogger has this bag and it's kind of ruined it for the rest of us okay so bag number eight on the list has to go to Furla um Furla is a very simple understated brand and their price point is amazing in fact I think Furla is the cheapest bags you can buy on the list that I'm discussing today I believe you can purchase a Furla bag for roughly 200 pounds so they are a great price point they're, they're good starter bags if you're trying to build a luxury collection I would recommend Furla but Maybe it's a British thing because I don't know how big further is in America. I really don't know. But every single blogger in the UK has a further bag. And it's just, I'm so over it. It's so boring. Last year, I was considering buying a further bag just purely based on the price point. And thank God I didn't. Like, praise the Lord, I did, I did not. They're all over Instagram and they're just i don't think they stand out enough to warrant a purchase from me so the penultimate bag on my list is once again a chloe bag another chloe bag and i'm i think you all know what i'm about to say yes it's the chloe nile i believe the chloe nile only debuted last year in 2017 so it's still a new handbag but the trend exploded so fast and this is the thing with Chloe everything with Chloe is like a thousand miles per hour it gets released the next day everyone has a Chloe bag and then literally six months later the style's gone like the trend's gone so I feel like this also happened with denial there is not one single fashion blogger that I can think of that did not have the Nile through some means or other. So either they bought it themselves or either they were given it by the PR company or either they spent their vouchers and bought it from an online luxury store. I don't know, but every single blogger had this and one YouTuber comes to mind. I think she really elevated the trend, that like she really pushed the trend a lot on YouTube. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm, I'm glad I didn't get sucked into it. I got sucked into the Chloe Drew. I am not getting sucked into the Faye or the Nile because I don't think they're worth it. And my final bag that I wanted to discuss with you, I think a lot of you are going to be surprised by this bag, but it's actually the Bulgari Serpenti. I know that the Serpenti range has a lot of history behind the, the collection and I know it's classic, I know the Serpenti range is classic, like obviously the watches and everything, it's a beautiful collection. However, this PR strategy that they have is whack because every single blogger is going for lunch with Bulgari and then getting handed the Bulgari Serpenti bag. And, I mean, the, don't get me wrong, they're not just average one of the meal bloggers. These are actually the really high-end influencers. Um, but I just noticed that last year, 2017, there were too many meetings with Bulgari and too many of these Serpenti bags floating about online for my liking. Every minute I was watching YouTube videos with outfits of the day, with my brand new Bulgari bag that I've just been gifted. Um, 
yeah, for me, it kind of put me off. To be honest, the Serpenti bag is not a bag I would buy, to be completely honest, even if it wasn't already rinsed out by the bloggers. Um, because the style of the bag is a bit too mature for me. That's just my personal taste. Um, but I do think it's a beautiful bag. I'm just going to reiterate that there's nothing wrong with buying trend lead bags. I done it with the Chloe Drew. You've probably done it. Like you watching this, you've probably done it. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you really want bags that will stand the test of time, I would avoid these bags. One thing I would say is if you don't want to buy trend led bags i would stay away from purchasing bags that are available to purchase online from online retailers such as farfetch and louisa via roma and those kind of stores and the only reason i say that is because the bags that are available on those online retailers those are the retailers that give these bloggers vouchers. They give them thousands of pounds. And I know this because I used to work at Farfetch. So they give them thousands of pounds and then they are able to pick what they want, you know, with the voucher. I would stay away from bags that are, that you can purchase from online retailers and just stick with the bags that you have to purchase from the boutiques like Christian Dior, Chanel, um, Louis Vuitton because honestly those are the bags that will truly stand the test of time and you will get your money's worth from those bags. I really hope you enjoyed my video today. I haven't sat down and filmed a video like this in a long time and I wanted to get back into a routine. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And please subscribe to my channel and be a part of my family. And also, if you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram because then we can just stay in touch, right? Yeah. So I will see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Bye.